Welcome back to the Wealth Snowball. It is, of course, your best friend in stocks, options, and dividends. But remember, just remember this. Do not take financial advice from me. Why is that, Mark? Because I'm as dumb as an albino hitchhiking in a snowstorm. But speaking of investments, I wanted to check out one of my new sweethearts that I've been looking at. I think we might take a crack at today, might sell a put on, and that is Cotera Energy. Cotera Energy. Look at these guys right here. They're creating value by generating sustainable returns for investors. Oil and gas company located in Houston, Texas, the great state of Texas. Let's take a look here. It is live. We'll do it live Thursday, February 9th, 2.41 p.m. Central Standard Time out here in the farm fields of Valparaiso, Indiana. You can see right now that the market is down on the Dow, almost 300 points, 1% down on the S&P and 1.13%. On the Nasdaq, but with all that said, Cotera is up 19 cents. And what do I like? Oh, don't do it, Bar. Don't even say it. 10.31% dividend forward dividend yield right there. Oh, that's called a dividend trap. Well, we'll see because my friends over here on the Yahoo Finance, they say this thing's undervalued. And guess who else agrees with that? That is also my pal's. Over on the alpha spread, they think on the base case scenario that Cotera is worth 41 bucks. And right now it's trading at 24.54. What about worst case bar? What is it there? 28.08. Uh oh. Still higher than the current value? Yeah, undervaluation 13% on a worst case scenario, 40% undervaluation. On a base case, what about that best case drum roll, please? 63% undervalued, plus that 10% divvy. That can't be right. Well, it is. So let's go on over here to the Robin Hood. Let's go to the Robin Hood. Look it up right here. Hey, you already had it up there. Yeah, it's because I've been watching it all day, watching it like a hawk. I was hoping actually that it would tick down just, you know, just a little bit so we can get some more premium action on those puts, but it's not. So we'll make a play anyways, because you know what? Let's take a quick look over here on Seeking Alpha. A couple of things. One, the Seeking Alpha authors, they believe it's a buy right now. Wall Street says, hey, just hold your horses. And then those propeller heads, they say the same thing with the lowest rating out of the three. But I like the look. I like the cut of their jib. Wait a minute, Geronimo. That's fine. The past is the past. Let's look at the divvies. Looking over at the dividends, what I've noticed is that they should soon be announcing, declaring the next dividend, their first one of 2023. So we want to kind of be around for that if we can weasel our way in at a lower price point by selling some puts and maybe being exercise, we can get in on this. Wait, you said it was 10%. Well, that's their that's their standard dividend yield. I'll tell you why that number is different over on the Yahoo, but Got the low payout ratio. Look at that dividend growth over five years. And dividend history. This is where things get really cool, really fast. They've got six consecutive years of dividend growth and 32 consecutive years of being the payer. Don't hate the payer, hate the game. So we want in on this, man. Look at all those dividends paid. So they had all their normal quarterlies plus other, plus I don't know what none is. <laughs> Looks like you paid something. That's more than none. And then last year, they had tons of special dividends on top of their quarterlies. So I'm hoping maybe, just maybe, 2023, they will repeat their themselves and return some capital to us, sweethearts, those investors. So let's just check over here on the Cotera options. Pull up the chain. I want to look at selling a put. And let's look to the action for next week. Because as you can see, there's really no action for, well, that's only tomorrow, right? Yep, today's Thursday the 9th. Tomorrow is February 10th. We go out eight days to the 17th. Catch that weekend theta, that weekend time decay. I was looking at this 2350 strike price, 78% probability of profit, meaning, you know, 78% of the time it's not going to be assigned. So maybe we can hit the double-double, catch a few bucks here, and then be assigned at a value. We'll just keep watching it. 
But at the 15 cents, if we pull out the old abacus and we've got 15 cents and we divide that by the 2350. So what does that give us, abacus? That is 63 hundredths of 1% as far as a return is concerned. So if we were able to pull off this style or this type of trade 26 times a year, so roughly, you know, what's the math on that every other week? And we multiplied this by 26. You know, we can get, I don't know, around 16.5% on premiums on top of, we can then add in our 10% right here on the dividend. If we're able to get our way in there with the puts and then start selling those calls, maybe conservatively and capture some of that return, let's do that. So let's check in on right here, 15 bucks. See if we can't grab $15 bills, y'all. Let's review that order. Click submit, and they're going to grab up $2,350 of our collateral. And there we go. We got, whoa, look at that. We got $25 on the credit on the one contract on our new friend, Coterra Energy. Over here in Houston, Texas, Coterra Energy, thank you so much for tuning in to this special episode of the Wealth Snowball. And we will be back soon with another video. And I'd love it. You know, I'd love it if you would subscribe to the video. If you would like it, leave a comment. I've got a couple of new YouTube shorts up. If you can check those out as well, I'd love it if you did. And I will see you in the next video.